Hello, this is Gernge with another quick tip video. This one's going to cover some ways to layer together hologram or FUI style graphics using some interesting OSL nodes to really elevate their look, including some blurs and parallax. I think we've all seen this stuff a million times before now. It's common in sci-fi and superhero films, and it tends to bleed into techie motion graphics too, getting the look of a hologram screen, FUI, or HUD graphics. We can break up our design into layers, add depth and parallax with the Parallax Occlusion Mapping OSL node, and even blur them a bit using the Blur OSL node. So let's get into it. I think this one will be pretty straightforward once you see. We're working with four main graphic layers, including Alpha Channel, and this will all be applied to a single plane inside of C4D, inside one redshift material. And as we look around, we can see that there's really nothing super special going on in terms of the different layers. We can see that we have a max on noise, which is just helping fill in the background ever so slightly. Otherwise, the graphic layers are plugging into a color layer. The first thing I want to set up is adding the depth to each layer. We can do that using the Parallax Occlusion Mapping OSL node, which I covered in another quick tip video. So if you need more of an introduction to that, please check out that video. To keep things short here, I'll create my OSL node, copy in the code from the Redshift OSL repository, link will be in the description, and then I'll hit compile. In the previous quick tip, we used this technique on a brick wall texture, and we used the displacement map to control the effect of the depth. Instead, we'll be using an image with a 50% gray texture. I made this real quick in Photoshop and just saved it as a square. Super simple. So we can load in that gray square, and we can connect this to the offset, raise up the depth a bit, and we can see the background layer, which is the furthest back grid, is now appearing to be behind the other layers. So that's looking cool. We can duplicate this node and adjust its value for each layer. So we have the depth and parallax effect working nicely. Just be careful with the depth value and how far you move your camera. You will eventually clip off of the side, but that still might be all right, depending on what you're setting up. We can level up this effect a bit by blurring each of the FUI layers too. Again, this will be up to you on how strong you want the effect to apply to each layer. The Blur OSL is another great node created by Darby, so big props to him. This one is on his version of the OSL repository. Again, the link will be in the description. This node is super straightforward to use. I mean, it's a blur node, come on. We connect it to the UV offset on the texture node, and raising the strength does exactly what you would expect. Now, in order to combine the blur and the parallax nodes, since both of them connect to the same offset on the texture node, we simply plug both of them into a vector add node and then plug that into the texture's offset. We can now see both effects applied to that background grid layer. Awesome. So I'm going to speed things up a bit as I duplicate the blur and vector nodes and set up each of them accordingly. So it's up to you on how you would like to adjust the strength of each of these effects for the various layers of your graphic, depending on how much depth you want to emulate. All in all though, I think this effect looks pretty awesome, I'd say. We can compare side by side the result with none of the effects applied on the right and the blur and parallax effects applied on the left. It's a pretty obvious difference. I've got this effect applied to a little sci-fi terminal screen here, and it's almost kind of like a hologram or a light box with the different layers appearing to sink further into the device. I think this looks really nice, and I think that's a good place to wrap this up. I hope this helps make your awesome FUI designs look even more polished here in Redshift, just using some simple OSL nodes. Again, I want to extend another thank you to the many contributors of the Redshift OSL repository. These nodes are really awesome. If you found this information useful, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video and shared it with somebody that you think would benefit. And as always, thank you so much for watching.